Hi friends, uh, good morning. Uh, in this video, we will discuss about the surface reaction and surface adsorption of a species uh, using ANSYS fluent. Uh, so exactly like rusting of iron or uh, formation of uh, gas, uh, gallium or arsenic. So all these products on to the wall, how exactly they will just uh, react with the gas species and how the products will form and how they will adsorb onto the surfaces, how they, how they accumulate on the walls. So what kind of mechanism they will follow. So all these things will discuss in the video uh, so in the present video or present uh, tutorial I am uh, will be discussing uh, these all surface reactions and wall sur uh, wall reactions with the help of uh, tutorial using this as my modeling geometry uh, where you can see uh, so this is the inlet from which uh, species gas species would enter and these blocks where I have shown with an ellipsoid uh, are the heated wall with a temperature of 983 Kelvin so all these walls are maintained at 983 Kelvin and this is the outlet and this domain which is at center is will be rotating at 100 rpm and this uh, rotating domain also has that heated wall of uh, temperature 983 Kelvin so here exactly what are the reactions that will happen on the wall is present here so here ASH3 and GACH3 uh, and uh, uh, CH3 along with hydrogen would enter from the inlet side and GAS and ASS are the side species so side species uh, I'll just show you side species are the species that adsorb onto the wall surface or react and then de uh, desorb on the surface so it means that those are species that are present already on the wall which tries to uh, adsorb and react and dissolve from the walls so uh, GAS and AS are the species that are already present in the wall so when they try to react with this inlet species of ASH3 so then the byproducts like gallium and arsenic are the solid species so solid species uh, means it will try to go and adhere onto the wall or stick onto the wall so this accumulation of gallium, uh, gallium and arsenic uh, that what we intend to know exactly in this tutorial so what is the rate of uh, uh, adhering onto the surface as well as a uh, rate of uh, dissolving of the uh, uh, gal uh, gallium site species or arsenic site species so all those kinds of uh, reactions we will try to uh, simulate here and we will know the status how exactly they are happening so same the case you can uh, go with the rusting of the iron uh, where uh, iron would turn into ferric hydroxide uh, and those ferric hydroxide getting accumulated on the wall or coming out of the wall all those things also you can do so here uh, there is a rotating domain also which has a heated wall so how exactly those would be formed as we have discussed in the previous combustion species modeling so uh, we are using here uh, finite rate chemistry where sufficient amount of temperature and pressure are required uh, for the erogenous reaction to happen or to overcome the activation energy in order to reaction to happen so that's the reason why we have given 983 Kelvin uh, with, without giving 983 or uh, giving or 300 Kelvin the reaction will not start and uh, uh, the formation of gallium and arsenic also will not happen so uh, before entering into deep I just want to discuss three uh, main uh, terminology what we use in this tutorial so one is the selected species that are the normal fluid species that would enter in and come out and the solid species are the species that are deposited or etch from the wall boundaries or discrete phase particles so all those kind of particles are called as solid species and side species are already discussed so I'll just uh, get into this so here uh, this is the inlet from which AS H3 comma GA CH3 and H2 as well as CH3 so these are the species that enter from this side and H2 is the bulk species means it has more a volume fraction compared to the remaining all three so these would enter from the inlet and they will come through this narrow gap and already there are heated walls that are present on the both sides of the narrow gap so then they start reacting with the gallium sorry gallium side species so before getting reacted there are two species what we are intend to uh, react with one is gallium side species and other is arsenic side species so they are covered oh, sorry they are covered this wall with a percentage of proportion or, the, or uh, the proportion of the both the species so how exactly they are covered I'll just show you 
what i have uh, given uh, so this this is a just species tab what i want to show you is the selected species these are the species that are entering in these are the solid species these are the side species so we need to differentiate and give it to the fluent in order to run and in the side parameters yeah so these are the uh, gad and asd are nothing but the reactions what i have already shown here so these two are the reactions what will happen on the wall so that I have shown here and now this is the site coverage so site density so the site density is the number of uh, uh, kilogram mole per surface area for meter square so how exactly the number of species that are present on the site or it mean on the wall so they are covered with respect to this amount of mass or this amount of weight kg mole per meter square in that presence also there is a proportion of coverage so one is a uh, gallium site species other is arsenic with a proportion of 0.6 and 0.4 so it means that on these walls so they there is a gallium and arsenic which are pro, uh, which are covered with a proportion of 0.6 and 0.4 one is ga site species other is arsenic site species right so these heated walls all these one two three these three heated walls are covered with this proportion so now when these are entering in so ash3 would be reacted with gas which is already present on the walls and then those gallium uh, site species will desorb because uh, they are not they are no more present on the wall because they are getting reacted with ash3 then gallium will be formed that gallium will come and stick on to the walls so it will get stick on to the walls so what is the amount of gallium uh, that will stick on to the walls it depends on the amount of ah3 or depends on the amount of coverage and the proportion all these three aspects it will depend on right and next uh, ass it's a byproduct of this reaction and that ass in turn with gel get absorbed onto this will get adsorbed adsorbed it means it will go and adhere on to the wall so that way ass is already present with the proportion of 0.4 and extra amount of ass will go in stick on to the or adhere on to the wall so it means like 0.4 plus the amount that is been gaining through this abo reaction maybe some x so now ass would be x plus 0.4 that would be present on these walls all these three walls now after that again a gcs3 is present that would react with the ass already present on the walls and the uh, as as well as gas would be formed again this gas will in turn get adsorbed onto the walls so the amount of gas getting adsorbed will depend on the three aspects one gcs3 and the other one is the site coverage and the other one is amount of ass present so all this uh, comes into role when these three reactions happen so it is like gas previously getting desorbed and again by reacting with ass it is again getting adsorbed so this is a cyclic process that happens and after the complete process we can uh, come to a uh, conclusion that what is the amount of gas present ass present gallium and arsenic that is got adsorbed onto the heated walls so this is the process or this is a uh, things what we will intend to want to simulate in the ansys fluent so but before uh, getting into that uh, simulation part i'll just want to discuss few things about the physics part so you can see these are the reactions that will happen and uh, it is given on uh, 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 on a overall basis where uh, ng is the gas species that are entering in the gases with nothing but selected species and this these are the site species and these are the products or solid species so these are the things that will get reacted and with the forward reaction rate and these three are the by products or the, sorry products reactants and products so kf is the forward reaction rate in general uh, for finite rate chemistry this is the forward reaction rate where it depends on the concentration of the uh, gas species that is ci and this is a concentration of site species right so uh, here the other thing now the forward reaction rate would have the other uh, things which we need to interpret is the coverage so site coverage as well as the proportion that are present on that site so all these things would be inculcated using this terminology if here uh, there are no uh, coverage so if there is no coverage then this term becomes zero 
so uh, the upper term mu will become zero then jet power uh, zero is one so again if there is no coverage again this become zero one so everything become one so then it is a simple finite rate model but if there is any coverage ratio and all those things would be taken into account by using this formula with jd square uh, site species that are present by the density density has have already uh, shown to you so it is already mentioned here that is kg mole per meter square that is site density so using this the forward rate would be changed compared to the regular finite rate model what we use so that uh, finite rate so that forward rate uh, uh, would be applied here in order to get the uh, products from the reactants so this is the multi physics what we uh, intend to know so we have discussed that also now i'll just uh, make you to go through uh, the steps so go to general don't worry i'll attach the case file to the video you can just download and you can run so i have selected study with the gravity and minus 9.81 so in the downward direction and then uh, i have uh, on the energy then i went for viscous ssd k omega model the important one here is a species transport in the species transport we need to select volumetric wall surface and in that uh, we need to uh, uh -huh. okay a tick on volumetric and wall surface and the heat of surface reaction mass of deposition shores and in that uh, uh, highlight finite rate uh, model click apply and click ok then after that you need to model all these species individually so i'll just go to fluid presently so in the material staffs so these are the things which will not present in the fluid uh, material database so you need to create on your own so what exactly the density is what is thermal conductivity what is viscosity all those things the values so you can just uh, see here i'll attach the case file you can just uh, uh, open them and just you can uh, copy onto your own uh, simulation part if you want to simulate or you can run the case file from your side also so all these things would be uh, selected as a fluid then i'll you need to go to mixture template in the mixture template you need to go to mixture species edit so then you need to select the species as selected species by clicking on this add and remove tabs selected site species as these selected solid species as these so click on OK and then in the reaction finite rate. Uh, so you just open and you need to give uh, these react uh, reactions. There are two reactions as I've already shown on the screen. So number of reactants for the first one is uh, ASH3GAS. So these are the stoichiometric coefficients and the rate exponents. So all these are mentioned here and these are the pre-exponential factor. So yeah, uh, pre-exponential factor also I've shown it to you. So these things are the pre-exponential factor AR and beta R is the temperature exponential factor. So those values have uh, already given here. This is the activation energies and the temperature exponent beta R. So that is 0.5. And the, then it is a wall surface reaction. We are not intent to know about the volumetric or that will happen in the space. So we are intent to know about the reaction that happen on the wall. The next one is go for the second ID. Again, you need to select these species, product, reactants and the products. And then the pre-exponential factors and all this temperature exponent. So click OK and then... Uh, you can close it then go to mechanisms and then you need to select these two click number of sites species sites as one enter the site density then define the initial site coverage with which JS AS is been covered and click OK close the tab and uh, you can give the reminding things what I have mentioned here all the viscosity and thermal conductivity how they are modeled click on close now if you go back to the species tab uh, you can see these things so number of volumetric species and solid species and site species before you will not see those things after uh, doing the previous steps what i have done then you can see all the stuff and now come back to this uh, contact region targets which is the inner domain in which i have given a frame motion in the frame motion i have selected a rotation axis i have uh, got this axis uh, position from the space claim uh, so when you try to model then you will get the center of the domain which we need to enter here so and the rotational velocity of 100 rpm and in the reaction tab select reaction and the reaction mechanism is one so reaction mechanism already stated here i've shown it to you so reaction mechanism is in the mixture template so in this template you can go to the reaction mechanism so this is this reaction mechanism what exactly it happens
that name is mechanism one so then uh, you just go to inlet this is the inlet as I've shown it to you and the species fractions that are going at inlet GACS3.4, h 3.15 and the remaining is hydrogen. Hydrogen is a bulk species so it is it should be uh, more uh, in volume fraction compared to the remaining other. So velocity magnitude is 1 and the temperature is uh, 300 Kelvin with which it is entering. And then the other point is uh, a wall so heated wall so in the heated wall i have given 983 kelvin on that heated wall only this reaction will happen so it's serious reaction will happen tick that reaction tab and the reaction mechanism as one so on those all those three heated up uh, wall only the reaction will happen not on the remaining things so then you need to create a mesh interface uh, for this mrf and this remaining domain so mrf is uh, moving uh, domain so I will create an interface between this in, uh, internal domain and the external domain. So this one is the other two and I have created it manually. I have selected this as interface zone slide 1 and this is interface zone slide 2. So now automatically, so I already have created so it is showing an uh, warning. So this is the interface that I have created. So by selecting interface zone slide 1, interface zone slide 2 and enter some name and just click on create. Then automatically the interface would be created. And after the interface is created, then uh, get back to this uh, uh, rotating edge or rotating edge means this, uh, this red color uh, what you are seeing is the rotating edge and the rot rotating edge will also have the same RPM as the internal domain. That's the reason why I have given relative to adjacent cell zone as speed RPM 0 and the rotation and with respect to the center of axis. And that is also in a heated uh, zone so i have given the temperature of 1023 and that would also participate in the wall reaction that's the reason why i have ticked that reaction mark and mechanism as one so click on ok then try to initialize then click on run calculation so i have uh, ran through few iterations as a steady state so i'll just uh, make you look over the surface counters how exactly this would change so i'll just select the surface deposition of gallium so click compute and click save display so you can see these are the areas where uh, gallium is being deposited as a solid and yeah this is also an area where it is highly getting deposited and this is also an area which is getting highly getting deposited and the next one is you'll select for arsenic compute display so these are also the areas where arsenic is also getting deposited now we will try to select uh, or see the coverage of uh, gallium site species compute display so now we can see the coverage of gallium uh, site species initially given as 0.6 but it turned to 0.03 it means that remaining all the part is covering with uh, arsenic site species only. So we'll just select compute display. So, so most of the part is only covered with uh, arsenic site species. So there is no gallium uh, site species. So this is the uh, one thing we can uh, draw a thing from the post processing. So this is the velocity with which uh, it is entering and uh, so it is being uh, distributed randomly due to the MRF because this internally the domain is getting rotated and we can just check the temperatures also how exactly those are getting distributed so temperatures obviously these would be high because it is 983 Kelvin here and here it is 1023 so uh, I have uh, said that in the tab it is 983 but uh, these two walls are 983 and this one I have said given as an 1023 Kelvin uh, and the other things are uh, maybe we can go for reaction tab and the kinetic reaction one so first reaction what we have uh, given you can see so first reaction mostly are happening here first reaction like uh, so this is the first reaction ash3 and ga that is the first reaction that is happening uh, more in this area you can see and we can check out the second reaction where is it exactly happening second reaction is also been found where is exactly happening then we can uh, maybe check out the pressure pressure distribution this is the pressure distribution 
and all uh, any other things uh, maybe the viscosity how it is getting distributed so yeah i have need to select all these things so this is the way how the viscosity is distributed so obviously distribution of viscosity is uh, high at these uh, uh, near wall because the gas viscosity would be high at high temperatures as those are at a high temperature so viscosity near those walls should be high so uh, yes i hope uh, this video has helped you a lot in understanding how to model the surface reactions and how the solid species would be getting deposited on the walls and how the side species would be participated in the reactions so please do subscribe the channel and please share the channel with uh, your friends and please like and encourage me in doing more number of uh, videos thank you